Thank guess you. I just uh, on on Wednesday I'd, I'd asked Stefan. He'd said the reason was exactly what you just said, waiting for all the confirmations to come in. But clearly, yeah. large portions of the trip you did know. So I guess the question really is why? I, I, for example, when John Kerry would travel around, they would add a stop at, during the trip. But why it, does the UN has it decided? to not release any portion of the trip until you know every single portion, meaning that on a Friday, I mean, excuse me, on a Thursday at 6 o'clock, you say he's on his way to the airport. Why don't you change that? Well, that, that's certainly a, one possibility, and this is how it's been handled at different trips over the years. Uh, in this case, the idea was that because of the nature of this trip uh, and the way uh, it was balancing different stops throughout the region, it, it made sense to, to put out all the information once you could confirm them all. And, and that confirmation came uh, yesterday. Sure. I wanted to ask you, that there's a pretty widely publicized letter from the, the, those in control in Sanaa and the north to Antonio Guterres saying that uh, Ismail Olcek Ahmed should be, not be extended and should be relieved of his duties. And I wanted to know, it's online, but have you, have you has he, is he aware of that letter? And is it something that, not, not necessarily the, the, the non-extension of, of the envoy, but this, this issue and the issues that are being raised of a sense of, of, of bias and of kind of Saudi control over the mediation, is it something he's going to, 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 to bring up on his trip to Saudi Arabia? And is he going to meet with those actually in control on the ground in Yemen or not? Well, first of all, we, as I mentioned, he, he will meet with the, the king, the crown prince, and deputy crown prince of Saudi Arabia uh, on Sunday. Uh, regarding uh, the criticisms, uh, we're, we're, of course, aware of uh, the different envoys, uh, different peace processes from time to time get criticized. And one of the most common uh, bits of criticism is the one side or another accusing them of being biased towards the other side. We stress the impartiality of the work of all of our envoys, and, uh, and the Secretary General does support the work of Ismail ul Sheikh Ahmed. Has he gotten this letter? I mean, are you aware of this letter? We're, we're aware of the letter. Right, but the, I mean, the, the, and I know I understand your policy, I guess. Can, can you can at least, there is a silence procedure, right? Because the letter dated February 8th is out, and it says that Antonio Guterres, following the usual consultations, is, is proposing Salam Fayyad as the new, I mean, people have seen the letter. So I guess what I'm wondering is, what were these consultations? Did he speak to the U.S. mission? Did he speak to people in control in Benghazi? Can you give some sense? I guess there's already some questioning of this, and I'm wondering what consultations. Is it only with the Security Council or with others? There's a normal uh, process of consultations that occurs when uh, uh, envoys are selected, and part of that policy for envoys that report to the Security Council involves informing the Security Council. Uh, that's the only real detail I'd be able to share at this stage. This is also about a letter. I guess there were a lot of letters over this uh, snowstorm period. But there was a letter uh, uh, directed to Antonio Guterres by the Government Accountability Project, specifically concerning this whistleblower issue and saying Compass, Miranda, you know, Miranda Brown, and, and uh, um, Emma Riley, and asking that he be suspended and investigated. It's, so I wanted to know, did he receive this letter before he set off on his trip? And can you respond to Ms. Riley has, has, without speaking to the press, has told Intercity Press that she's been ordered not to speak, which is contrary to what Stefan had said, that employees are, she, she quotes, they've quoted to her some rule about, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll give it just to not misrepresent what she said very quickly. She said, um, she's been told the following, that, that staff members should not use the media to further their own interest, to air their grievance, or to reveal unauthorized information. And she feels it's unfair because they put out a press release saying that her charges are unsubstantiated. So in sum, is, has he received the letter, and what's the process to consider the request by this group? Uh, well, regarding, regarding that, I don't have a confirmation about a receipt of a letter. Uh, what, I, what I can say is we're, we're aware of these uh, issues. A lot of these are processes that are being handled by different bodies. Uh, the question regarding uh, Ms. Riley is being uh, is something that has been looked at and is being looked at uh, uh, by the ethics office. Uh, regarding uh, regarding what uh, she may have said to you or not, I think that that's something you will need to take up with the office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. Uh, they are dealing with that issue. I believe that they were simply responding not to her, mm -hmm. but to reporting that came out in in media so they so that is something they were not trying to take up anything involving a, a dispute with her 
so much as responding to reports that had come out in different published accounts. Can I just add, and thanks, I, I just wanted, uh, my understanding is that the ethics office is actually not handling this. They've recused themselves because they say that she, one of her charges is against them, and so it's been assigned to somebody from UNFPA, and basically the process has started all over. Is that, can you confirm that at least, that it's... I, back to square one. I'm, I'm aware that, well, not back to square one. I believe that the process is continuing. I, I don't have any further details to, to engage on that. Have a good weekend. How about this powder at, power outage? Oh, Could you just say, right. do you have anything in, your, in, in sort of a, uh, what oh, happened? Oh, the, the, there's a, the, part of the building has lost power and is on emergency power. That should be restored soon. Have a good weekend.